And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Spider Swain. That's right, we're going to try some Spiders and Swain over in Master's Rank. And will it work? I don't know. Hopefully, we don't know. We're, we're going to go ahead and give it a try. But as we know, Aphelios and Twisted Fate are incredibly good. So let's see how we do with a different deck. Uh, we're going to have a lot of Fearsomes with our Spiders. You know, Precious Pet, Arachnoid Horror, Elise, all being Fearsome, Frenzied Skitter, also there so we're going to be able to kind of go wide we're going to be trying to level up elise go wide have some fearsomes be able to get damage in we also need to do a good amount of um non-combat damage to level up swain right we need 12 non-combat damage to do that so we're going to have the arachnoid century ravenous flock combo in here plus we're gonna have the full three copies of noxion fervor each one of those um, halfway levels up swain by themselves um and then you know we'll have like bile feast death sand doing a little bit of damage as well and then besides that, we have two kind of hard removal spells that if they have something that's taking damage or if they have a landmark we got to kill, we have one Scorched Earth, something like that's a lot bigger that we need to kill. We got one Vengeance. We got those. And we got this other card, um, obviously Leviathan to go along with Swain, but we got this other card that you may not expect in this deck, Brutal Hunter, being a uh, four drop. This is going to be the four drop we're going to be playing with a 3-3 three, three with um, Challenger and Quick Attack whenever you play it this round. But that's going to be important because we have all these Fearsomes, right? Like Swain's Fearsome also. So if we have a lot of fearsomes, we can have a challenger. So like whatever they have that blocks fearsome really well, we challenge that thing, and then hopefully it helps our other fearsomes get through. Um, so you know, kind of trying out a different card here, brutal hunter. All right, so let's get to it. Let's play some spider swain in ranked. We're gonna go play five games, and we'll see how we do. Okay, Zoe Aurelian Soul with Freljord. Seems like this could be a Targon's Peak deck. Scorched Earth does kill Targon's Peak. So I guess I'll keep that. But we we want... Um, you know, we need our units. And everything. We want to be able to curve out a little bit. Maybe I should have kept Death Sand or Vile Feast. Like something like that to kill Zoe. Okay, so I was focused on looking for units. Not a great hand. What if our deck should not... Like, what if we don't play Glimpse Beyond in our deck? In this kind of deck. That was a pretty aggressive Sleepy Trouble Bubble. Gotta kill Zoe. We're just down one card. Um, so not the worst, but, you know, obviously not the best. Really? <laughs> That's the end now. Yeah, there's definitely a Targon's Peak deck. lot of mana. Alright, let's try killing one of them. Good. Swain's close to leveled up. If we find a Swain. So do they actually have peak? Like, if I play Brutal Hunter, then are they going to just play peak afterwards? Possibly. I think I'm just going to pass. play Brutal Hunter here. Because they're still at, like, the 7 mana just like before. It's possible they just have, like, a whole bunch of things that cost 8 plus mana. Okay, we get value out of our Glimpse Beyond. That's good. Heads will roll. 
We have a lot more one and two mana units than three and four, even though it looks like we just have only up three and four from how we've drawn. Got rid of Equinox. We three will have blood. All right, Leviathan's good. We know they have eight drops in hand. Um, so whether or not I want to play Leviathan before or after attacking. Because what I'm worried about, basically what I'm worried about here is probably Infinite Mind Splitter. Right? Like if I play Leviathan, they play Infinite Mind Splitter. That's still not like that bad for me. I'm going to play it first. Because if they just play like a regular blocker, then we'd get to challenge. Okay. Stun card. So I don't get the three damage in. Oh, no. I don't have my three mana for my Scorched Earth. Yuck. This could be bad. Alright, so that's what they had for their zero cost card. A little bit better than mine, kinda. Just just a little bit. Swain in, and we're looking really good, honestly. Like Swain Leviathan, that's probably something they don't answer too well. They've already used two avalanches. Like we're honestly looking really good. All right, attacking for 21. There we go. Got him. We have done what is Spider Swain. And now we're at Aphelios, Zoe. We got to not play against Aphelios or Twisted Fate for one game. Um, pet. Yeah, I mean, this is a good curve. Yeah, I think, I think we just keep it all. I mean, it's so it's the threes, right? Like, if we want to mulligan these, obviously we're going to keep the one drop, two drop. I think I like both of those. Fervor can be a card to kill Aphelios if we need to. You know, like, get rid of, like, the little spider. Um, the, hmm. I think I actually play House Spider because... Their two drop is Boxtopus, right? So, like, if I play Elise and they play Boxtopus, that's not, like, a trade I really want to make. So I think I actually just play House Spider here. So far, so good. I know what lurks in the shadows. So far, so good. Let me change into something more comfortable. Do I play Arachnoid Sentry first? Do I just attack? I think 
I play the sentry first. Yeah. Because then I don't know, like, if I'm going to challenge. Yeah, you know, like, I'm just not. I'm not getting any good use out of the stun. I can challenge with my 3 2. And, you know, like, it's challenging Aphelios. And so, like, that's nice. But I could also just do all this damage just to them. I don't know. I don't know if I should challenge or just do all this damage to them. This is really. This is honestly really close. Like, the easy thing is just to, t to take all the. To do all that. To have them take it all, I guess. All right, we're gonna we're gonna do that. But I don't know. I could see them coming back here though. Like Aphelios can can still win this game if they have guiding touch. You know, like that kind of stuff to heal their nexus. Drawing another fervor made this better. But you know, like like they can give this thing life steal with the the moon weapon. You know, have like a big life steal. All right, but I definitely really like having the second noxion fervor. So that's pretty good. Yeah, because, yep, now now that we're going to be able to fervor twice, this looks pretty good for me. Maybe I messed this up by having both fervors up. I should have just sentry stunned the Boxtopus. I don't know. Because if I try another fervor and they have another guiding touch, how do we win from there? Maybe we don't. They just keep on drawing what they need. Like, you know, that's the... It's always the cards, like, way over here on the left. The cards they just drew. Yeah, that keeps them alive at one. They just spell Thief, go grab Fervor, get to Fervor this 2-1. And they're still alive. I think we're gonna lose this game. I honestly do. I think I think we lost this game. I think the big the biggest decision that I made that I think that's gonna cost me this is with the Elise. I should have I should not have just kept both fervors available that turn. I should have just played this I should have just stunned the box to post to make it so they couldn't kill my Elise. I'm not giving up, obviously, you know, because we do, we, like, Leviathan's our last hope. But, never mind, now it's probably over, because, you know, now it's the lifesteal. Hmm. Yeah, yep, that's what I should have done, is killed, killed the, you know, I should have challenged the Aphelios. Yeah, I should, I should have dealt, yep, I did, like, how I put them down to three with all the Nexus damage, I, I really needed to challenge Aphelios. Not challenging Aphelios. Um, yep, yeah, that was that was the big problem. And that was not an easy decision. You know, I sat there and thought about it for a while. That was a really tough decision of whether or not to challenge that Aphelios. Um, I don't know. I, I wasn't sure what to do. I listened to y'all. Said just go face. I thought that we would be fine, but no, we were not fine. I do like the glimpse beyond draw to try to stop a Severum. Their 
Silence travels on the night air. Yeah, we, we had to we had to hold the glimpse beyond to to stop us ever um with the the life steal. We are not going to glimpse beyond right now. That's also good. That that will stop us ever too. Hey, mind splitter. If they find anything that kills my Leviathan, we're in a lot of trouble. Oh, they're getting Infernum. Overwhelm. They can overwhelm the the fangs. Yep. So I can try to kill the fangs with the, this combination. Um, you know, they'd have to have some kind of protection for it, which is pretty likely. I guess I try. I guess I have to try. Whoa, it worked. I did not expect that to work at all. It worked. We have the glimpse. Devotion through battle. Counter attack. Cause basically I want to I want to block this 3-4 and kill it so that they only have three things in play, so that whenever I stun, I stun all three things. That's my goal. I guess they probably have like something that costs three or less to be able to play anyway. So maybe I don't worry about that. I don't really know why I'm blocking with this house spider. Over there. Yeah, cause yeah, cause spell thief ravenous flock. Um we still wouldn't kill the Leviathan, we'd still put the Leviathan at one at that point. That's, I'm taking the aggressive line. The aggressive line really cost me. Yep, should have killed the temple. So the thing is, is like the temple's probably not going to matter too much because if they... Like, if we don't kill them quickly, they're going to... Um, like, we're going to die anyway. If we don't kill him quickly. So that's why I wasn't sure. Like the the Veil Temple, you know, if, if they if the game lasts a few more turns, they like we're dead anyway. And so that guiding touch was really bad. Okay, that's good. That's really good. Stun all those. Glimpse beyond a good draw. Are they gonna life steal the Silver Sister also? Please don't find Equinox. They already got one. Um, they already got one Equinox. Please don't get another. Yay! Not Equinox. Equinox is definitely made just playing Leviathan more tr troublesome. 
Cool. I'm glad they didn't give the life steal to the Silver Sister. Made my life a little easier. All right, hopefully this works. You know, Swain hit him, do the extra damage. There we go, got him. All right, how about that? That was a crazy game, super close, even though it looked like it wasn't gonna be close at all. Um, but Aphelios is so good. We got two really good clutch uh, Glimpse Beyond draws, especially the first one, the first Glimpse Beyond uh, to not have their Nexus heal 11 was clutch, and then they didn't have the protection. Whenever they had the 7-4 lifesteal, they didn't have the protection to save that. Some clutch cards there. If they got that second Equinox, we were going to be in a lot of trouble. And back to Aphelios. It's basically just what kind of Targon deck are you going to play, right? <laughs> that's that's the metagame right now. You know, playing against a deck that does not have... Aphelios and does not have Twisted Fate and does not have Zoe. Like, those decks don't really exist, besides what we play for fun. <laughs> so we're going to keep these. Keep this combo. I'm just going to keep Leviathan. I don't know. Like, they're a really slow deck. Leviathan's awesome. I'm going to just keep Leviathan. Thank you, Devil. Devil says that was a really good win. I thought you misplayed, but you proved me wrong. I I think I did both, right? Like, I, I think I did misplay in that game. I think I should have challenged the Aphelios. Um, and my first two fervors weren't necessarily the best, but we still, we did end up uh, persevering. The prediction was already going. Oh, was it not? Oh, I guess not. Okay. So they played... Alright, so they played Guiding Touch, then Aphelios. I need one more mana. It's like a Sentry Flunk. They probably got the moon weapon to go get another two drops so they can go get more eye of the dragon so they can have more dragglings and that's like their plan is just to like swarm me with dragglings and not allow me to ever win um but of course my plan is um yes my plan is to win late games with leviathans and they don't really care too much about dragglings oh no they got the deal three damage to a follower And now they'll have lifesteal. So I wanted to, I didn't want them to have deny, right? Like I if I led with sentry, they could have denied the stun thing, you know, expecting stun flock. And so I led with the precious pet. They played a spell. So they wouldn't have deny mana anymore. And I guess I just throw away this Ravenous Flock, because I don't really know what else it's going to do. So I guess I'll just use it here. It's possible they have... We saw the second Eye of the Dragon in their hand. It's possible they have the third Eye of the Dragon in their hand also, and that's why they didn't get the 
uh, go grab a two-drop card because they already have all three of their Eye of the Dragons in hand. That's what it's kind of looking like right now. The dragon binds us. Okay, not bad. Nope, there's a two drop. I fight with my spirit, not my fist. Well, surprising they didn't get that the first time. So, I'm thinking about just playing the Vile Feast right now because that should level up Elise. But it's also just not. It's not a very good Vile Feast. I'll just wait till this turn and Vile Feast one of these things and try to level up Elise anyway. Yeah, Glimpse Beyond has been uh, very useful, especially against like the the Severum. Very useful there. Tab says, "What's the best control deck in the metagame? Is it worth it to craft, or should I wait till the new expansion goes out?" So, the new expansion, um, you, you may. I mean, it depends. Depends if you want to play a lot in the next week. The new expansion does come out in uh, six days from today, so it's it's not very long until the new expansion is out. As far as waiting. Um, best control deck is going to be with Aphelios. Maybe Aphelios Twisted Fate. Sure. I could deny there. Come with me. So yes, I could have gone and leveled up Elise, but... I just want to attack with... These things. I mean, they they can't have Pale Cascade, I suppose, and then block. But. Out from the darkness. Okay. I will break them. You dare. This is all not too bad. Oh, that's bad. See, now that's bad. It was all fine until that. So I could flock my own Swain to level up my own Swain? Eh. Alright, Leviathan. Gonna need you to do some work. What is gained when you return the levels? Smooth as silk. That's a bad draw. Huh. It's an odd place to concede. History will remember us. That's an odd place to concede. Okay, this is not not any of the big three. It's still Targon, but not any of the big three of Zoe, Twisted Fate, Aphelios. So it's different. Let's mulligan the second Elise, even though they could have Boxtopus to kill this Elise. And mulligan Sentry. Yeah, I'm going to mulligan those two. Oh, I need that Sentry back now. I don't know if this is a great use of flock or not. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'll regret that. I'm not saving it for the champions. For trying to you know kill the champions in combat and with that sand and stuff like that. There's always room for summer. 
Supa. If I play Skitter right now, we level up Elise. Or I play Brutal Hunter. I think it's a challenge, Tom Kench. Yeah, I guess I guess I need to do this and level up Elise. Keeps them from blocking with anything. I think I actually play Brutal Hunter. Now, I guess I play Brutal Hunter. They acquire taste, so maybe not. Tom Kench is weird. You have to play you have to play really weird with Tom Kench. Nice vile feast. Oh, wow. Wild menu. Wow. That was just a complete nightmare for their for three you know for like the end of their turn yeah complete nightmare dang all right three and one all right so new predictions up oh no I don't want to play that matchup <laughs> I did not like that matchup yeah I do not like this matchup well we're going to um. I'm definitely keeping Elise and keeping Ravenous Flock. Like those two are definites. It's these other two. I could see Brutal Hunter being okay. No Star Spring, no Star Spring, no Star Spring. Don't do it. Yes, no Star Spring. Alright, so doing this to level up Elise. Go no further. You dare. Struggle, they'll enjoy it. Smooth as silk. So we got some fearsome one ones. One ones don't kill people very quickly. They really don't kill people very quickly. So I basically just traded my Elise Champion spell for their shakedown. You know, one mana each. How much damage is this? 19? 19 sounds good. 19 sounds good. Another obstacle. 
I think that was the only card that saved them. Alright, so we will uh, go ahead and Death's Hand to kill Soraka. And hold on to Ravenous Flock. Okay, cool. That'll do. All right, not bad. We got revenge. Got our revenge game there. Um, really good hand for us. No, um, no landmark for them. Makes life a lot easier without the landmark. But you know, like their their curve's not bad, right? Like they played they played the one mana two two, then they played Box Bus on turn two, and then they played Soraka on turn three, and then they played the two seven on turn four, right? Like that's not a bad curve. They they died right after they you know they died the next turn, but. Um, you know, for the most part, they conceded the next turn. So that's not a bad curve for them. So I have to say, you know, overall, that's nice. 4-1. Um, you know, we played against all five decks we played against were Targon. So yeah, with all five decks being Targon, we were playing against, um, you know, good decks. They were kind of weird Targon decks. You know, Soraka, Tom Kench isn't one you see too often, but I don't think that's necessarily a great matchup for us. We had... Um, a really good hand with the leveled up Elise, that that other one. Aphelios with... Um, uh, what's the name of that champion that Aphelios played with? The Ionia six-mana champion. Oh, um, gosh. I can, What am I... How can I remember this? <laughs> Karma! Karma! There we go. All right, yeah. So Aphelios with Karma was... Another kind of weird, uh, you know, pairing for Aphelios. Probably good for us. And, uh, you know, but overall we, we ended up winning our games. You know, we can't can't do anything but play against what we're playing against. And we won our game. So I don't know if, like, over the long haul, if this deck would be able to go 4-1 kind of consistently. You know, I, I don't know if it has that kind of power. But it was it was nice. We put We put pressure on our opponent by going wide. We had uh, difficult to block attackers also while we're going wide with all the fearsomes, so it made our attacks even better. And then we had a really powerful combination to be able to finish games out with Leviathan plus Swain. So you know, like that, there's definitely good stuff going on with the deck. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, if you want to try the deck out, go ahead, do that. Let me know how it goes. Um, let me know if if uh, you know you have some success with some Spider Swain. If you want to, if you're trying to look for some other different type of deck, this is also one that's maybe not that difficult to get into for a um, for a newer account. How you get to start off with Elises, so maybe it's something that you can um, kind of get earlier than other decks if you're you know crafting some kind of Elise deck. Um, so yeah, go ahead and give it, go ahead and craft it, give it a try. Let me know how it goes. Be interested to hear about that. All right, but that's all I got here for Spider Swain. So thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you for the next video.